Hello and welcome to Mole Tops and Fiction. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Young's London Stout. Uh, this is a beer from England and I'm um, really looking forward to this one. I came across this beer for the first time quite recently. I thought the label was quite eye-catching. I love stouts. Um, I'm a big fan of English beer, so I was very keen to, to grab one of these and see what it's like. Looking at the label here, we've got um, 5.2% alcohol by volume. Um, very nice looking uh, bottle as well. So let's go right ahead and open this bottle and pour it into a glass. So, pretty typical stout appearance. It's a really dark uh, tan head, about half a finger there. I probably could have poured it with a bit more head, uh, but I think it looks really nice. It's really quite dark. I can't see through it even when I hold it up to the light. It has a slightly brown look to it, not, so not quite black, but like really dark brown. Um, pretty much everything I'm looking for when I, when I pour out a stout. I really like the look of this. It looks really good. I'll just give it a quick swirl and uh, see what the aroma is like. Mm. So, dark roasty malts as expected from a start. A sort of a, like a toasted bread smell as well as chocolate, um, a little bit of coffee. A bit of fruitiness as well, I think something like maybe like dark cherries. Certainly a very enticing aroma, I uh, really like the smell of it. Enjoying the lacing on the glass as well. Yeah, nice bit of chocolate coming through. Right, well let's go right ahead and taste this. There's a nice bit of bitterness to it, I like that. It's got a nice smooth flavour, but really allows that bitterness to come through as well, which is great. A little bit of malty sweetness as well, along with that bitterness, which is very nice. Um, the chocolatey flavours coming through there. A bit of coffee as well. Uh, fairly typical stout notes I'm getting here. The finish is pretty smooth, not like a very long or bitter finish. The beer itself is, I'd say, medium bodied. It's not as, um, as heavy and thick as some stouts that I've tried before. But still enough to sort of coat your mouth a bit with that like nice malty finish that, that lingers for a little bit. Not too long, not too too strong, um, but pretty well balanced I'd say. So this beer is a product of Charles Wells Brewery in England. Uh, they own the Young's brand now and they're based in Bedford. I in fact spent two years uh, living in Bedford about ten years ago. So it's quite nice to find some, some products from that brewery here in South Africa on the shelves. Young's also have a double chocolate stout, which is a, a beer that I really highly recommend. It's a delicious stout. And uh, you find it quite often on the shelves here in South Africa. This London stout, however, I hadn't seen before until really recently. So obviously when I saw it, I was really keen to give it a try. And uh, yeah, I'm finding it a, a really enjoyable stout. In terms of rating, I reckon this is probably, I think it's, it's a four, quite comfortably. Four out of five. It's pretty much everything I'm looking for in a stout in terms of flavors, appearance, aroma. Um, maybe a little bit lighter than some others that I've had, but nonetheless really, really enjoyable. I'm really enjoying the design of this label, the black and white, high contrasty look with this gold around the outside, really nice, really looks classy. And it's got the bowler hat and the moustache and pinstripes. They actually say that this design is inspired by the London city gentleman and that reminded me particularly of the stories of P.G. Woodhouse. So when thinking of a book to recommend with this beer, um, this is the one that leapt to mind. This is The Inimitable Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse. And this is a collection of short stories featuring two of Woodhouse's most famous characters, Bertie Worcester and his valet Jeeves. And it's a pretty funny book. Um, Woodhouse has an amazing way of using language and sort of old-fashioned London slang and things like that. Uh, in a really humorous way. Really, really well written, but uh, also very light and funny. 
Many of the Jeeves stories were actually adapted into a very good TV series starring uh, Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie and I highly recommend that as well and certainly with a spear the inimitable Jeeves is a, a really good read, really entertaining and funny. Well I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'd appreciate it if you click the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Come follow me on Twitter as well, I'll put the details in the description below. And I hope you'll come and join me for another beer review soon. This was the Young's London Stout, and until next time, cheers! Mm -hmm.